Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at yet another working executor for Roblox. Now, as always, make sure you watch the video to the very end so you don't miss any of the important steps and let's get right into it. There are a couple of files that you will need for this download. All of them will be linked down in the description. And what I'll do this time is I will also include a tutorial on how you can download those files. So that will be useful for the people that can't figure out the download steps. So make sure you watch the video if you are struggling with the download steps and let's get into the tutorial. Now, there are a couple of things that you will need to get started. Of course, if you are doing this on the computer, you will need an emulator, which I will show you how to get. And if you are doing this on your Android device, then you don't need to worry about this step. The rest of the steps are very similar, so you can just follow along. Now, to get an emulator, you can go down in the description. I will link two emulators, the first one being the Mumu emulator, which I'll be showing you today, and the other one being the Bluestacks emulator. So it's completely up to you what you want to use. From my experience, Mumu is a little bit more smoother. So if you do have a low-end PC, you can try out the Mumu emulator. Once you do have the emulator, download it and set up what you would need next is the actual executor so that will of course be linked down in the description as well once you have the emulator downloaded you can simply go ahead and drag and drop it onto your mumu or your bluestacks application and that will install the roblox application for you as you can see right here from there you can simply go ahead and open up the roblox application and at this point it will ask you to sign in if you haven't done so already so let's go ahead and wait for this to fully load in and there we go we just loaded in and over here we just need to quickly sign in and that will take us to the roblox page once you have gone ahead and signed in, it will take you to the Roblox application. Now, at this point, you can simply go ahead and load into any game of your choice. So in my case, I'll go ahead and load into this game right here. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And here we go. Once you do fully load into the Roblox game, it will automatically start the executor for you. Now, if it is your first time using the executor, it will ask you to generate a key. Of course, if you do need help on generating the key, you can join my Discord server and you can ask me there. The steps are very simple, so you should also be able to figure it out. Now, when you do fully load in and you've entered the key, it will open up the executor just like this. You can close out of it by clicking that little icon. And if you want to open it back up, you can click that again. Now, to make it full screen, simply go ahead and press F11 and that will take you into the full screen mode. Now, let's go ahead and go through all of the options that are currently available in the executor. If you go into the home tab, this is where you can see the featured scripts. And of course, you can also go ahead and execute your saved scripts from here. If you go down over here, this is where you can paste your own script and you can click the execute button. And of course, you can open new tabs over here as well by clicking this, which for some reason isn't working. Now going down here, you can also search for the scripts of your choice. So let's go ahead and search for the infinity yield script. And as you can see, it is right here. And you can simply go ahead and click it and click execute. And that will execute the script as you can see in the bottom right corner. Now, if there is a script that you use on a regular and you want to save it for future use, you can simply go ahead and click it and click on save selected script. And once you've done that, you can go back over onto this tab and you will see it right here. So the next time you open Roblox, you can simply go ahead and click on the execute button and that will execute the script for you instead of having to search your scripts again and again. Now, coming down over to the settings, you've got auto execute. So if you want to auto execute any of the folders, now I don't think this feature is currently working simply because... We are on the mobile version of the game, but I will get in touch with the developer and I will let you know if there are any updates on this. And the rest of the settings, you don't really need to worry about. Now, if you do scroll down a little bit, you do have the FPS cap. I do recommend putting this on max FPS just so it gives you a little extra frames. And at this point, you don't really need to worry about anything else. You can simply go ahead and execute any script that you want to use and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Again, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or join my Discord server for a faster reply. And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.